This is Mrs. Appia with Module 2, Part B. Practice multiplying and dividing rational numbers, your answer key. In Level 1, identify if the product or quotient of two numbers is positive or negative. Remember that a negative times a negative is a positive. A positive times a positive is a positive. But if you have one of each in either order, the answer is negative. So our first answer is positive, then negative, then negative, then positive. Multiply integer numbers without the use of a calculator. Two positives are positive. Two negatives are positive. One of each is negative, and one of each is negative. Divide integer numbers without the use of a calculator. The division rules are the same as multiplication. So if you have two positives, the answer is positive. If you have two negatives, the answer is positive. And for each of these remaining problems, you have one negative, so the answer is negative. Next, without computing the answer, identify if the product or quotient of a series of numbers is positive or negative. You learned in previous lessons that you could pair up the negatives to make a positive. And if you end up with an even a number of negative factors, then the answer will be negative. I stand corrected. The answer will be positive. And if you have an odd number of negatives, then your answer will be negative. So in this problem, we have two negatives, which is an even number, so our answer will be positive. These two negatives make a positive. And then you have a positive times a positive times a positive equals a positive. In the next problem, we have one, two, three negatives. That's an odd number of negatives, so the product will be negative. These two negatives pair up to make a positive. Then this is a negative. These make a negative. And your last one, your answer is negative. Next, calculate the decimal value of the fraction using long division. 7 divided by 8. 7 divided by 8. The first thing is to make sure that you've set up your division house correctly. 7 divided by 8 is 0. Add a decimal and several zeros. Then divide again into the first two digits. 8 goes into 70 8 times. 8 times 8 is 64 and subtract. Bring down a 0. Divide again. 8 into 60, 7 times. 7 times 8 is 56. Subtract, bring down a 0. 8 into 40, 5 times with no remainder. And so the answer is 0 0.875. 2 elevenths. 2 divided by 11. 11 goes into 2 0 times. Add a decimal and several zeros. Divide again using the first two digits. 11 goes into 20 one time. 1 times 11 and subtract. Bring down a 0, divide again. 11 into 90 goes 8 times. 8 times 11 is 88. Subtract, divide again. 11 into 20 is 1. 1 times 11 is 18. Oops. <laughs> not, it, no, it is not. Let's correct that. <laughs> 1 times 11 is 11. Subtract, bring down another 0, divide again. 11 into 90. Well, I've already done that division, and I know the answer is 8. So what I'm noticing here is that I have 90 and 90, and I divided into 20. So I see that my answer is repeating. The part that's repeating is the 18. So you write that as 0 0.18. And your bar goes over the shortest section of numbers that repeats. Fred and his friends went to Dairy Queen. They split the bell of $10 six ways. Fred did the division. How much should each person pay? So $10 split six way. And it looks like the answer might be $1.66. But I noticed that these dots means that it's repeating. So really, that's 1.6666. Then I think, well, should I leave $1.67? Or $1.66. If you left $1.66 and all six people left that amount, 
you need to make sure you have ten dollars so I multiply this out and that is equal to nine dollars and ninety six cents which is not enough money so I need to round up to the next penny and use a dollar sixty seven and I'm just going to double check to make sure that that is enough money multiply by six people six times seven is forty two thirty six forty and that's ten dollars and two cents so if each person left a dollar sixty six that would not quite be enough money but if everybody leaves a dollar sixty seven then you will have enough money and two extra cents so the amount of money each person should leave is a dollar sixty seven and it says to explain so I needed to round up to the next penny to get at least ten dollars every month Miss Thomas pays her car loan through automatic payments which are withdrawals from her savings account she pays the same amount of money each month at the end of the year her savings account balance changed by negative three thousand eight hundred ninety one dollars and ninety six cents from payments made on her car loan what is the change in Miss Thomas's savings account balance each month due to her car payment? Write the expression before computing. So what we know is that she has spent $3,891.96 on her car so far this year. The end of the year, and there are 12 months in a year, we want to know how much it changes each month. So that means we want to split this money evenly between the months of the year. And there are 12 months in a year. So we're going to take the negative $3,891.96 and we are going to divide it by 12. So the expression is $3,891.96, which is negative, divided by 12. And that's the expression. Now to do the math. A good way to do the math with division is to write down the multiples of the number first. So we have 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, 84, 96, and 108. So I'm going to do the division. I start with the 38. And I'm going to move that down a little bit so we can see the work. Three eight nine one point nine six. So I start with a thirty eight and I see that I can make three groups of twelve. Three times twelve is thirty six. Subtract, bring down the nine. Now twelve into twenty nine is two. Two times twelve is twenty four. Subtract bring down the 1 and now I'm look, dividing 12 into 51 12 goes into 51 four times 4 times 12 is 48 subtract bring down the 9 put the decimal in your answer and divide again 12 into 39 12 into 39 is 3 times 3 times 12 is 36 subtract bring down the 6 and 12 into 36 three times evenly and so negative 3000 divided by 12 and the answer is negative three hundred twenty four dollars and thirty three cents negative three hundred twenty four dollars and thirty three cents and this is a negative amount because these are withdrawals they are lowering her balance so the answer is negative. Describe the total change in Ms. Thomas's savings account balance after making nine monthly payments. Write the expression before computing and show your work. We know that she is spending $324.33. And because she is spending that money, it is negative. And that's each month. And we want to know for a total of nine months. So we multiply by nine. $3,000 or sorry, $324.33 times 9. 
that's 27, 29, 36, 38. I finished the multiplication and my answer is $2,918.97. Now remember that we were multiplying a negative times a positive. So this is a negative answer. And after nine months, her balance would be $2,918.97. The total change to her bank account is that it has been lowered by $2,918.97. That is a negative number. Next, evaluate the expression using the properties of operations. Here, we're going to use the distributive property. Before we do that, I want to move my 12 to the front. That's the commutative property, 12 times 4 and a third. Now I want to use the distributive property that says that you can multiply a whole number times the sum. So that is 4 plus 1 third. Remember that a mixed number is the sum of its parts. I'm going to distribute the 12 to the 4 plus the 12 to the 1 third. 12 times 4 is 48. A third of 12 is 4. And the answer is 52. For the next problem, I see that I'm going to be dividing. And I cannot rearrange a problem in any way with the division in it. So I'm going to rewrite the division as multiplying by the reciprocal. And that is called the multiplicative inverse. That says division means multiply by the reciprocal or multiply by the inverse. So my first step is to just rewrite the first part, change the division to multiplication, and use the reciprocal of 1 third, which is 3 over 1, which is 3. Next, I notice that 1 fifth and 20 are compatible numbers because 5 goes into 20 evenly. So I want to move those next to each other. So I'm going to move the 20 here and the 3 here. That is the commutative property that says that you can change the order. Negative 6 times 1 fifth times 20 times 3. Now, if I followed the order of operations, I would be doing negative 6 times 1 fifth. But I would like to do 1 fifth times 20 next. And when you regroup, that is called the associative property. So 1 fifth of 20 is 4 and bring down the rest of the problem. For the rest of the problem, I'm just going to go in order from left to right, and this is going to give me negative 24 times 3, and that's going to give me negative 72 for a final answer. In the next problem, I would like to rewrite the multiplication, or rewrite the division as multiplying by the reciprocal, and that is the multiplicative inverse. So I have I just noticed that this problem does not match the one on your paper. So I'm going to fix that. One moment. All right, for this problem, in order to move it around, I need to take care of this division. So I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. First, write this as a improper fraction. One and a half is equal to three halves, and that's a negative. So when I rewrite it using multiplication, I will use the reciprocal. So negative 1.2 times negative 3. Multiply by the reciprocal, which will be negative 2 over 3 times negative 10. Next. I see that I'll be able to cancel these threes, so I'm going to go out of order, and I'm going to group this together. That's the associative property. The negative and the negative is going to give me a positive. The threes cancel, so three times two-thirds is equal to two. Bring down the rest of the problem, negative 1.2 times two, times negative 10. I would like to reorder these 
so that the negative 10 is next to the decimal so that I can eliminate the decimal. 1.2 times 10 is 12. A negative times a negative is a positive. And 12 times 2 equals 24. And so the answer for that number is 24. Finally, Mia evaluated the expression below but got an incorrect answer. Find and circle Mia's error. Explain her error and what she should have done instead. The point 0.4 is the same, the times is the same, the 2 is the same. Ah, so here we go. We have dividing by negative 1 20th, and it has been changed to multiplying by negative 1 20th. Well, there's the error right there. You can't just change a division to multiplication, but you can write it as multiplying by the reciprocal. So here is the error. This should be the reciprocal of negative 1 20th. So let's see. Actually, circling the error is this. And then it says, what should she have done? She should have multiplied by, and then the reciprocal of negative 1 20th is negative 20 over 1. Remember that a negative fraction, when you use the reciprocal, it stays negative. And you could also write this as negative 20. Then let's see if there are any other errors. This is okay, that's okay. Um, they switched places here. That's okay. Then this is okay, 2 times 5 is 10, that's right. This is just brought down. Uh, let's see, 0.4 times 10 is 4, that's correct. This is just brought down. And then 4 times 1 20th is 4 over 20, which is 1 fifth, and it is negative. All right, so there are no other mistakes in that problem. Next, find the value of the expression and justify each of your steps. So first we want to take care of the division, bring down the 0 0.4 times 2, and now multiply by the reciprocal. The reciprocal is negative 20. Remember, 1 over 20, the reciprocal is 20 over 1, and that is equal to 20. Since the previous number is a whole number, I'm going to write 20 as a whole number as well, times 5. I would like to put my 2 and my 5 next to each other because I like to multiply by 10. It's a good way to eliminate decimals. Bring down the rest of the problem. 0 0.4 times 2 times 5 times negative 20. Now I want to multiply the 2 and the 5 next. And normally I would have to multiply these two numbers first, but I can regroup using the associative property. Bring down the rest of the problem, 0 0.4. 2 times 5 is 10, and bring down the rest of the problem. Now I can eliminate my decimal. 0.4 times 10 is 4. When you're multiplying by 0, you move your decimal one place. And 4 times negative 20 is negative 80. And so the final answer is negative 80.